hello in this video i will make a piston head in uh, autocad okay so let's start with 3d modeling workspace switch your workspace from this uh, workspace uh, switching drop down menu or you can switch your workspace from this gear icon also so click here and change to 3d modeling if you're not in 3d modeling workspace once you are in 3d modeling press middle mouse button twice so this will zoom your screen to extents and it will also bring your origin in your clear view now let's start with polyline command so here on draw panel you'll see polyline command click on this and now type 0 comma 0 to start our polyline from origin and press enter so here we have our polyline which starts from origin now drag it towards right and enter a length of 23.5 units so type 23.5 and press enter so depending upon the scale of your drawing you may find this line very small or very large zoom in or zoom out to accommodate this drawing in your drawing area now here I have this drawing uh, with a line of length 23.5 units now enter a new distance and this time make it four units downward so type four moving your cursor downward and press enter now again move your cursor towards left and this time enter a length of three units and press enter again move down now enter a length of two press enter then again three enter then two and again three repeat this process a few more times so here we have this two towards right three then again two and inside is three now two then three and that's all so we have uh, made this uh, geometry now drag it all the way downwards and enter a length of 30 point five units and press enter so now here we have this geometry now drag it all the way towards left and move your cursor to the origin now don't click and drag your cursor downward you'll see this tracking vector so once you reach at a point where this line is horizontal and that both tracking vectors are visible click and then click here again press enter to close this geometry now go to fillet and enter a radius of one unit so type one press enter and apply a fillet of one unit to this corner now select join command for that click on modify expand and modify panel and select this join command from here select this complete geometry and press enter so this will join this complete geometry into a single unit of polyline now we need to rotate this object so let's go to this modeling panel and click on revolve select this geometry press enter and click at this starting point and this end point now simply press enter to revolve it about 360 degrees so here we have this revolved piston right now it may not look like a piston to you don't worry we'll make more changes to this so once you've made this select this now right click go to this isolate from this contextual menu and select hide objects we don't need this object for now we'll bring it back when required now let's make the second geometry for second geometry click on this polyline and again type 0 comma 0 to start it from origin now again drag it downwards and enter a length of four unit and now move it towards right now enter this length of 18 units and press enter now move it downwards and this time enter a length of 12 units and press enter now move your cursor towards left enter a length of 8 units and press enter now move your cursor downwards and this time enter a length of 12 units press enter 
now bring it back here and enter a length of 10 unit press enter again bring it downwards four units press enter and now move it towards left and this time enter a length of one unit press enter bring it downward to a distance of one unit press enter again bring it towards right enter one bring it down all the way up to 30 units and press enter now again go to this point the starting point drag your cursor downwards but don't click and as soon as you will find both the tracking vectors click here and join it with the initial point now we have made a closed geometry but we need to delete the initial geometry which was this small line we don't need it for that go to trim select this command and press enter don't forget to press this enter otherwise you won't be able to trim this short line click on this line to trim it now again go to revolve select this geometry press enter select this as the first point second point and press enter again to select this geometry completely now we need to subtract this geometry from the initial geometry which we have previously made click on this home tool and change this 2d wireframe visual style to shaded visual style so click here to change your visual style and change it to shaded turn off this grid that is also not required and now on the status toggle move to this unisolate objects click here and select end object isolation so now our original piston is also visible here now go to this subtract command and click on this piston press enter and now select this internal geometry which we have made and press enter again so this will subtract our geometry from the outer geometry and here we have this hollow shape of piston now we'll manipulate it further and we'll make further changes to this let's move on to the top view of this piston and once again let's hide it from our current view so select this geometry right click go to isolate and hide objects now go to polyline command and type 0 comma 0 on command line to start it from origin again and this time again drag it downwards and enter a length of 35 units so type 35 press enter now move it towards right and enter a length of 20.5 units so type 20.5 and press enter now move it downwards towards bottom and enter a length of 9 unit press enter and again go to this point drag it downward so that this tracking vector is visible click here and make a close rectangle like this now we need to trim this extra line in this case so go to trim command press enter and trim this longer line we don't need it here go to fillet and now click on radius and enter a radius of 9 unit press enter and click on these two lines we need to make it a radius look like a fillet now here we have this geometry let's make a mirror image of this geometry so select this geometry expand this modify panel and click on this mirror command now select this point and this point and press enter so here we have the mirror image of this original geometry but now we need to trim this part from this geometry for that I again go to trim command press enter and click here so this will trim it and click here again to trim it completely so here we have this polyline now these two are separate polylines we need to join them as well so click on this expanded modify panel go to join make a selection box and press enter so this will select the complete geometry and make it into a single polyline so we have made our polyline now we need to make some changes for that go to this home icon and select extrude now select this geometry press enter and enter a distance of 50 units but in the negative direction so type minus 50 press enter again 
go to this modeling panel but this time select press pull now go to this top and enter a distance of 50 units in this case which will be the positive 50 and press enter again so here we have a random geometry now like again go to this unisolate objects and click on end object isolation so here you can see that we have removed object isolation and we need to subtract this geometry from this one but before that we need to expand this geometry a little bit downwards for that again go to press pull select this area and enter a distance of five units to expand it downwards and press enter so here we have it towards a downward side and it's now looking good to me so now we are ready to subtract it from the original geometry so go to subtract again select the original piston and press enter now go to this geometry and press enter again and here we have this subtracted geometry from this piston now we are ready to make next component in this geometry so click on this top view again right click go to parallel if background appears great to you and now we'll make final geometries in this for final geometry let's click on this rectangle and make a rectangle this time i'll make a rectangle with length 21 unit and width 14 units so type at on command line and enter a length of 21 unit then comma 14 units so make sure you are adding this add symbol before this 21 comma 14 and now press enter so here we have this rectangle now select move command select this rectangle select the stop point and move it in the middle of this piston so go to the center but don't click now drag it downward so that this tracking vector is visible and when you see both the tracking vectors click here you don't need to be very precise just make sure this rectangle is placed approximately at this location so here we have this rectangle now go to this home view and you'll be able to see this rectangle which we have made here so this is the rectangle which we have made select this rectangle and click on this move command from modify panel so select this move now select any point on this rectangle and now make sure that this green tracking vector appears in positive Z direction now enter a distance of 23.5 and press enter so this will take our rectangle to the top of this geometry so here we have this rectangle now go to extrude command again select this rectangle and press enter and this time enter a depth of minus two units so type minus two and press enter so this will make a block of of uh, width two units in the negative direction now select this block and we'll make a mirror image of this block on the another side of this piston as well select it go to this 3d mirror from modify panel now you don't need to select any axis we need to make a mirror image about xy plane so select xy from this command line and press enter and press enter again so this will make a mirror image of that block on the opposite side as well so here we have it now again go to subtract command select this complete piston press enter now select the block which we have made and then turn it to the other side and select the other block as well and press enter again so this will subtract it from the complete geometry and you can clearly see here that we have subtracted a geometry from this here now only a final detail remains to be added for that go to this top view and make sure that this is in parallel view this will be easier to work with now we need to make a circle on this geometry which we have made now and for that go to circle command from this draw panel when this uh, rectangular shape appears selected then go to any of its corner so that its midpoint is visible 
and then track it towards left so that this tracking vector is visible now move approximately to the center here and make a circle with diameter of 10 units so type 10 for d and then enter so now we have a circle and here it is so depending upon the situation and depending upon the plane on which you are drawing it may be drawn on this plane or you may even be able to draw it on the center so it hardly matters where you're drawing it since we have drawn it here so we'll start from here now go to this press pull command and move your cursor inside the circle so click inside and now drag it to the other side all the way through this piston and click here now press enter to escape this command and here we have this complete piston so now this piston is uh, ready if you have any questions do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe if you want more such tutorials thanks again for watching have a great day